got caught flat-footed, got to run a game, I got you covered. Stick around. <laughs> Hi folks, Old Man Grognard here. And you know, there are times when people want you to run a game or something like that, and you're out somewhere maybe, or and you just don't have the wherewithal to do it. It's like, can we play? And it's like, you may not have your books with you, you may not have your stuff with you, but I got something to show you here. And this is easy. This is what I call my GM bug out box, bug out kit, whatever you want to call it. You can carry this around quite easily. It's a little, it's a, it's slightly bulky, but it'll work. You can slip it, you know, in other places. Let's take a look and see what's inside, shall we? Okay, here we have the GM's bug out kit, as I like to call it. First off, let me take everything out. What we have here is some stuff, and this is what I got. First of all, I've got this nice box. I got it off Office Depot. They're called really useful boxes, and I kind of like them. This could be a little smaller, but I can make it work. There's no problem with that. So what I put in there, first thing I do is put in my noteboard. This is noteboard. It, it is very, very handy. And what it does is it folds out. I'm not going to fold out the whole thing, but it folds out into a reasonably sized mat, battle mat. And one side is blank, and the other side has a combination of squares and hexes, which makes it really, really useful. So I'm going to put that back in here eventually. And you can use wet or dry erase markers on this. So that will go in here. Next, I have a set of dice. Now, whatever container you want to use it in, some, a small pouch like this, where I have a set of dice. And there goes one. Like so. Okay. And so that will go back in. And it'll sit right up here, like so. I also have a set of wet erase markers that I use with the mat that both the players and the GM can use. And I'll tell you how to do that about how to do that in a minute here. Also have three pencils, like so. Also, we have, I have about 12, I want to slip these under here, about 12 index cards. These are the dotted index cards. You can use whatever index cards you want. They come in very handy for character sheets, or if you want to do an impromptu GM screen with some tape, that'll work too, or take notes, or whatever you want to do with them. And they're really good to make character sheets out of if you really don't have anything else. And like I said, we have the markers. The markers go in here, like... So, three pen mechanical pencils. So, you always have a pencil, like so. And my three, three card Glenn's D and D role playing game, down and dirty role playing game. And I can use this to run, run whatever I need at on short notice. Shows you how to do it on there. I have a PDF of this. And it all fits in here, like a so. It's a little tight, but that's okay. That means, and you can slip this in a in a coat pocket. It doesn't quite fit in a, you can't put it in your, like your front pocket or pants, but you can put it in like a coat pocket or, or some kind of container or some kind of backpack and just slip it down in there and boom, you can go at a moment's notice. Anyway, that, Right there is my GM, what I call bug out kit. Take it away, Glenn. Now, I, I, what's, not, I like to come up with something like this just because for those situations. And, and here's the thing. 
Here's one thing you got to remember about it is it just covers you. Okay. I used to have this problem with, I wanted to have stuff for everybody, you know, <clears throat> dice, uh, figures, tokens, whatever. And it just, I couldn't do it. I just, you know, I can't, it's too much to carry, but this will cover you right here. And one, and this down and dirty role playing system, I have a PDF of it. If you want to email me, I can probably send it to you. Oldmangrognardgmail.com. But, you know, it's got everything in here for you to run a game. Now, I know you're lacking things like they will have to provide things like I got a couple of pencils in here, but they're probably going to need more paper, um, you know, uh, dice, of course. But you can actually run a game off of this. And that and that the note board I showed you, you really don't need figures or tokens either. You can just do stuff like, okay, put your initial to where you, you can draw the map, and put your initial where you want to be. Okay, you want to move that many squares? All right, fine. You know, or just wipe it off and put where you're going to move. You do the same thing with the bad guys. That's an easy way to do it. So check this out. Try and make some, if you can make something like this, it's great. You know, I call it, like I said, I call it the GM's bug out kit. So until I see you folks next time, bye. Thank you.